All right. What's up, guys? It's Ethan Holland from Holland Breaks again. Let's see. The audio is working. I think it's uh, August 8th, 2020. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm going to do a, a random box opening, but I'm going to use this new little thing I'm going to use for my giveaways. But on this eBay right here, Holland Breaks, I've got a three random team breaks. It's, it's 2014-15 Donruss. Uh, there's a lot of numbered cards usually in those boxes. So, I mean, they're there. I get them all the time. But uh, there's four spots left. I think uh, I lowered the price down. Let me see here. I lowered it down to... I think it was $15.99. Oh, sorry about that. Ooh, I bumped that. That's going to make it loud. I'm trying to bump that again. But yeah, um... $15.99, you get three random teams, random team break on Holland Breaks on, on eBay. So, uh, there's four spots left. If you want to get them, I'm going to break it tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to break the box regardless. So, I sold enough spots in it to where, I mean, if I got to keep a few teams, I'll keep a few teams, but... I think it pretty much paid for itself, almost. I might lose a little bit of money. That's if I get good cards or not. I'm pretty much gambling just as much as you guys, you know what I mean? I spent my money, too, on it, I guess. But, uh, anyways, yeah, it's on Holland Breaks on eBay. Three random teams. I lowered the price to $15.99. Um, I think all the other guys, the other guys paid $17.99 or something like that. A couple of them did, so they don't know it yet, but... I'm going to throw them an extra team because they paid a little extra. But $15.99, four spots left. You'll get three teams, three, six, nine. That's 12 teams. If not, I'm having 12 teams, I guess. So I guess good luck to me, too. <laughs> like I said, Holland Breaks on eBay, Holland Breaks on YouTube. HollandBreaksStore1.com is my website. I just posted up a bunch of more uh, box breaks on there. A little cheap box breaks so everybody that, you know, doesn't have a bunch of money can still join box breaks and get cards because it's impossible. There's a lot of people with the same hobby out there that can't afford it. I want to be the guy that makes it so they can afford it. So even if you can't afford this right here, just talk to me. You know what I mean? I can't lower it down too much more than that. I already lowered it down way low. But, I mean, I'll work with you. If you want a couple teams, I'll drop a little bit off of there. If you want a couple of them or something. So, uh, yeah, just let me know. Go to Holland Breaks on eBay and let me know, you know. Show me an offer, email, whatever. But today I'm going to do something a little cool because tomorrow is my first box break regardless. If i got to keep 12 teams or not, I just want to get it going. So I got Prism 2020. I'm going to randomly open. I don't know if I'll open that yet. I'll show you what I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to do some of my giveaways. Every single box break I do, I'm going to have at least two cards that are randomed off each one, different random for each one, to, to give two people a chance that win something else. And they're not going to be like crappy base cards or regular cards. I mean, they're going to be at least something that's worth getting, you know. I mean, anything free is good anyway, but I want to at least be like really good free. And then what do I got? What do I head off? He's a walking dead. So, I'm going to open these up. That's what I'm going to open up. You can still see how it breaks. But anyways, I'll open up... Uh, there we go. It's going to be one of those three. So I'll show you what I'm going to do here anyway. I'll type this in the chat so you guys know. Uh, Wait, 
go. Let's see it right here. Let's see what we can do here. So it's probably box. Hit caps lock and actually, but oh well. Here we go. Put it up in the chat right quick. You know what I'm saying? Get y'all scared real quick. Freak you out. Hopefully all you guys that are watching this jump real fast when I did that. Got the chick chings. I got my stuff going for my first break. Doing this all legit. I had to learn from the best. I had to join a million breaks to be able to do one break. Zombie from Holland, and that's how I do it. If you guys don't like that, hopefully you like it later. Hopefully. Here, I got green too. Let's see some of this. Green marker doesn't work. Anyways, oh, I'm going to show you guys what I want to do here. Sorry, I get real distracted real easily. Can't help it. But, a little bit of luck on the ball right there. You know what I'm saying? Let's see here. I'm going to decide which ones of these. Like I said, four spots left. If you guys want to join, join, you know. If not, that's fine. I'll keep the teams and I'll see what I get. Just like I'll be in the break with everybody else. It'll be all one big break, you know? Those hobby boxes, I get a lot of numbered cards out of them. Stephen Curry's, everything, all of them numbered. Parallels. Um, let me show you something cool. Let's switch over to here. We're going to go... We're going to go right here. I got it all right here. These are the three things that were sitting right in front of you. We got a baseball prison blaster box. We got a 2008 Tops baseball bonus box. And then the Walking Dead blaster box. So, which one should I open first? Which one should I open first? We're going to see about that. This is how I want to do some of my giveaways. Starting tomorrow. This is how I'm gonna do it starting tomorrow, and then I'll progress from there. If I don't like it, I'll switch it, you know. Um but I'll have everybody's team or name in this, and then both my giveaways instead of doing the randoms.orgs and all that. I'm just gonna do a spin the wheel. And I might do random.orgs too, but if I do it, I'm paying for it, so it's legit. So everybody will have a code, you know. You know it's legit, you can look it up later. It's a dollar a pop, but I'll do it. You know? Um, let's do it. So what should I open? What should I open? We're going to see. Holland breaks. What am I open first? What am I going to open first? Oh, wow. I'm going to open up the 2008 Tops Baseball bonus box. Heck yeah. Like that. I'm going to go back to here. There you guys are. Peace. So, this is the box I'm going to open first. It's going to be some sick hits. Let's see what I can put up here. Sick hits. Well, the ether sick hits. I almost named my my uh, <clears throat> thing here Ether's Box Breaks because my name's Ethan, but everybody calls me Ether. My grandpa started that when I was real little. And other people when I moved up here started calling me that too, and they didn't even know that. They just called me Ether too, so I guess I'm supposed to be called Ether. 
I don't know. I didn't pick it, so everybody seems to call me that. Ether's box breaks, but we'll go with Holland box breaks. Holland breaks. That's my last name, Ethan Holland. All we got here, this is from 2008. So these packs are from 2008. I wonder how old I was in 2008. Nothing left in there. I wonder how old I really was in 2008. You know, I got this box a while back at uh, Dunham's. What did I pay for this box? We'll see what I get out of it. He was probably on the wrapper, eh? Jesus. <clears throat> Look at shit. $4.99. Wasn't for the soul thing. There we go. Four ninety nine. I paid for this. Tops. 2008 box from Dunham's and it comes with a bonus pack. What could I get for $4.99? Almost was gonna give this away in a giveaway, but I got some cooler stuff to give away in giveaways. 2008 tops one, two, three, four, five packs. One extra three card pack. Real smooth. They got the weird little foldy thing. It's hard to keep them up. Sorry about that. There we go. A little proper box. Just so let's go. Just can't see the packs very well. There you go. Now you know they're right here. Let's see what we got from 2008. Wonder if they'll all be stuck together. And that's a while ago. Twelve years ago. That's like twenty-three or something. <laughs> That's going nuts. I was crazy back then. Who Fosner for the twins? Yeah, we got uh John Trail Willis for the Tigers, baby. That's home team. What we got here? We got Classic combos, Monroe, Santana, and Maurer for the Twins. Jason Tyner for the Twins. Ooh, I see something in here. We got Mike Baskick. Or Baskick. Mike Baskick. Jason Bay. For the Pirates. Now what do we got here? 50th anniversary. Dan Ugla. Ugla. Dan Ugla. For Florida Marlins. Tops All-Star Rookie. Second base. 2006. Dan Ugla. She's in highlights. Major League Rookie of the Year record. Let me get a... Uh, Let me get my uh, little sleeve action going on. I'm forgetting about right here. Let me open up my safe. I got my high priorities in my safe, you know. Six. That's the only number I'll give you. Combinations in. Oh. All right, then. Now we got some sleeves. Just in case, you know, from 2008, I haven't looked, I haven't looked these cards up. What do we got here? 
tops of the class. Students work hard, get cards for your education. David Wright, New York Mets. That's nuts. Receive cards, it's simple. It says work hard in school, receive cards, it's that simple. Manager presents a little gift. All right, who else I got? I got you. More of it. Torellaba. For the Rockies. I got Brendan Harris for the Rays. And Alex Rodriguez for the Yankees. And you see it right there. 2008. Tops Company. Well, 2008, Series 1. Important text. Okay, let's get back into this. Ramirez and Yokelis for the Red Sox. I wonder why I didn't want to focus. Combos. The classic combos, buds. Seth Smith rookie card for the Rockies. Seth Smith rookie card. Jimmy Rollins, most valuable player. For the Phillies. David Weathers for the Reds. Chris Ray for the Orioles. Let me see something real quick. Had to see that. Make sure I was on the right thing. John Lester for the Red Sox. And what do we got here? Dear in review, Detroit, Comerica Park, big day for Irod. Ivan Rodriguez, Detroit Tigers. I like it. It's my home team. YR16, April 16, 2007. Always a notice Royals killer. Ivan Rodriguez piled it on, collecting a grand slam at the first inning, a two and double in the second to ignite a 12 over five Tigers romp. Since 1970, only two others catchers, John Bateman of the 1970 Expos and Gary Carter of the 86 Mets had six RBI in the first two innings of the game. Go I Rod. Ivan Rodriguez. Bronson Sardinera. Sardinha. Sardinha. Bronson Sardinha for the Yankees. Wait a minute. That was a rookie card. That's a rook. Sleeve the rookies. And then we got Kevin Millar for the Orioles and Wes Helms. For the Phillies. 
2008. It's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna move this. There we go. Now I got farm room. Kenny Lofton. Get a drink. Hold on. All right, we got Manny Ramirez. Man Ram hits, walk off, home run. 10 of 5. It's kind of cool. Oh, oh, A L D S two thousand seven for the Red Sox. I'm gonna seem like a bad card. I'm gonna sleeve that bad boy. I'm gonna sleeve that. It's playing. Ooh, I see something in there. To be in two thousand eight, they look pretty shiny. 2008, it probably just started doing the shiny. We got Jason Michaels for the Indians sliding in. Sliding right in. We got Carlos Delgado for the Mets. Orlando Cabrera for the Angels. We got Freddie Gonzalez. For the Marlins. Then look at that. Tops own the game. Carlos Lee Silver or Hollow. I mean, this was the only box, and it was from 2008, and it was in Dunham's. Carlos Lee owned the game. Runs batted in. That's a sharp card from 2008, and that thing's in good condition, I'll tell you that. That thing's in good condition. Now, what is this? Tops All-Star Rookie. Visit that. Vote to help to select the Tops 50th Anniversary All-Time All-Rookie Team and win a chance for the Players Replica Trophy. Yeah, right. We got a black and white side. That's pretty neat, though. Pretty neat, though. Don't you say? We got Eric Wedge, manager for the Indians. We got Gavin Floyd, White Sox. Why does that look like a rookie, but it's not? Huh. And then there's a rookie. Ross Hollendorf. For the Yankees. Yankees do the dandies. Rooks. Heck yeah. Almost to the, this is the last pack for the bonus pack. Billy Wagner for the Mets. What does that say? Josh Beckett. Beckett dominates the game. 10 at 24. Team 1. World Series 07. 10 and 24. Must be his things. I know it's not the card. So this is 10 and 24. Must be him. That sucks. He must have dominated the game. 10 and 24 something. I know that ain't numbered. 
And then what do we have here? We got Ortiz and Ramirez back to back to back homers, 10 of 16. ALCS 2017. You know what I'm saying? Keep her going. Looks like there's still some alright cards in there. We'll see. It's the last pack for the bonus pack. Get a little bit of love on there. Adrian Beltry for the Mariners. We got Jimmy Rollins for the Phillies. Josh Willing Willingham for the Marlins. And then what is this? Jose Reyes. It's 57 years of collecting Mets. It's got like a gold trim on it. A gold foil on it. That looks sharp. Jose Reyes. No way it's numbered. Look at that. What does that say? 997 of 2008. How neat. That's cool. Numbered Jose Reyes from 2008 was just sitting in this box from Dunham's. That's insane. Let's see here. That's cool. Because it was year 2008, they made 2008 of these cards. And I've got 997. So that's pretty cool. And then what do we got here? Another tops card here. Oh, to help. So it's two of those in the same box. We got Chad Tracy. It's Dumbbacks. Jose Contreras for the White Sox. And last but not least, Dan Ogla for the Marlins. And then the bonus pack of three cards from 2008, man. We got it going on. When we launched our Amazon, when we launched our Amazon, Amazon would be about a 10 to 20% of our. What do we got here? We got David Ortiz. There we go. David Ortiz. In the bonus pack. It's from the Dominican Republic. Designated hitter. Painting by David Ortiz. Oh, by Dick Perez. So that was a real painting once. Then I got Ryan Howard. And last but not least. Oops, I'll just drop it. Cameron Maven. So painting pictures. That's cool. It's bonus box. I got a numbered card though. Focus. 
And I got Own the Game, Carlos Lee, Hollow, and then Numbered Card, Jose Reyes. 900 and some out of 2008, 997 out of 2008. I have a box that I paid $4.99 for. Not bad. Jose Reyes, Hollow, and not bad at all. You know what? I still got one pack. I opened the bonus pack and I've still got a pack. I didn't realize that. Bonus. It's like an extra bonus pack. Alright, so this is the last pack for sure. We got Alex Rodriguez. El most valuable player. I am the most valuable player. There you go, I mean. Kyle Kendrick for the Phillies. We got classic combos. Howard and Utley for the Phillies. For the Astros, we got Josh Anderson. Jim Edmonds for the Cardinals. Manager Bobby Cox for the Braves. And then we have a series checklist. Tim Redding for the Nationals. Jason Marquise for the Cubs. Gil Mache for the Royals and Eric Bedard for the Royals. Now it's all the cards. That's all the cards in that pack, in that little box. I'll put those right back in. That came, this all came out of that box right there. Okay, let's see here. Let me check this real quick. Oh, yeah. That was all stuffy. Okay, let's get back into it, guys. Let me see here. We're going to go back to the pickle wheel. Oh, that's the wrong thing. There we go. So now, what should I open? Let's see. We'll do the spin. This is how I'm going to do my giveaways and my box break tomorrow. They don't know, but they, they might win something else. Walking Dead Blaster Box. Yep, so I got to open the Walking Dead Blaster Box. Let's do this. There it is. Like I said, Holland Breaks on eBay. Three random team break. 2014-15 Donner's Hobby Box. One box. $15.99 for three teams. Three random teams. It's a random team break. There's four spots left. I'm breaking it tomorrow no matter what. I'll even keep 12 teams if I have to. But, might as well keep it going, eh? Keep it going. But with The Walking Dead... I gotta do something right quick. I need a drink. Uh, I'm about to milk bar. I'll get my mouth water. Let me find That's what I'm looking for. This will work. Let's see what this does to me. Ah, a lighter. Yeah, I started sweating. You know, it's gonna stop running. Let me smoke. Let's 
Sweet. All right, guys. Let's get into The Walking Dead, since that's what I picked. It's uh, Season 8, Part 1. Ten packs, one hit per box. The Walking Dead. Let's see what we can pull out of this blaster box. Hopefully I get a numbered card this time. Last time I didn't get a numbered card. Last time I didn't get a numbered card. I'm not too happy about that. I just got a, I did get, I like my walkers. I did get a walker in my last blaster box. I got a walker patch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. With the Walking Dead season eight pack that I'll throw right here. Hot pack. Part one. For a sec. I'll put that over there for now. Since I already told you guys, I wrote it in the chat. Can we get here? I got knock knock. Oops. I don't like having a smoking screen. Put that over there. Alright, so I got knock knock Rick. Some guy, King Ezekiel. What's right? And I usually read the rust cards or any other special cards. Investigations. I've already read all these cards a million times on camera. Delusions of of grandeur. Seeing his chance to be the one enabled to bring the king back to the sanctuary. It's Negan. Gunther's kills Alvaro. And takes Ezekiel hostage. Gunther insults the king in his theatrics while re reminding him that his followers are now a horde of hungry walkers. Rivalries, Maggie and Gregory. Season 8, The Walking Dead. Ethan Holland, Holland Breaks. You can call me Ether, whatever you want. A cool dude is what I am. Loved one lost. Outnumbered. Ultimatum with Maggie Ray. A way to peace. Jesus believes that the saviors can be convinced to change. Excuse me. Okay, Jesus believes that the saviors can convin be convinced to change, but Morgan believes they never will, and suddenly slips into battle mode to engage Jesus in intense hand-to-hand -hand combat. Both men are highly skilled warriors, but Jesus does not want to flay Morgan, so he makes every effort to fend off the assault while not harming his friend. Not bad. With the rust. Carol Pelletier. Five. I've seen a walker. One person. No sympathy. Eugene. His Majesty. King Ezekiel. We got. Alleg allegiances Rick and Carl left behind in an act of mercy Gabriel goes back into the firestorm of the bolts and walkers in order to rescue Gregory who is begging for his life Gabriel believes that they can work together to escape but Gregory is only concerned with his own safety and when he sees the opportunity and abandons Gabriel leaving him to fight his life on his own fight for his life on his own And then walkers. I don't have that walker yet. I always sleep my walkers. Always sleep my walkers. Never know. Ah, oh, it's like really need air in here. 
Okay, anyways. Let's get it. Aces. Walkers on the hill. A fourth. Thank you, gift. My brother, my sister. As Rick finishes talking to the factions, Ezekiel and Maggie step in to continue encouraging the soldiers to stay strong no matter what obstacles stand in their path. Maggie reminds them that this may only be the beginning of his plan, and that there will be many challenges ahead, but they can succeed if they keep faith in each other. And I got Dwight. Well, Dwight, man, he's in fear of the Walking Dead and the Walking Dead. You know he's doing good. And what we got here? Delusions of Grandeur. A way to peace. Left behind base. My brother, my sister base. Strong. Negan and Eugene. Rust. With the walker horde threatening the breach of the walls of the sanctuary and cutting off necessary food and supplies, Negan brings Eugene and encourage him to help them find a way out. Negan seeks out talented people and does whatever necessary to bring out their best skills, sometimes with encouragement, but usually with fear. You know what I mean? Go back to this. It's supposed to be on my YouTube. Here we go. Strong again. A moment. Busted. Legion says Carl and Satigue. A moment. With the rust. As Carl stands ready to die for his people, he questions Negan on what his intentions were for his world. And if all his death is really how he wanted it to be, Negan considers Carl's words until he gets a call from the convoy, has escaped through the back gates, and realizes that Carl was merely distracting him. So the people of Alexandria could go free. Wow, that isn't that isn't even the focus at all. Weird. What do we got? One, two, three, four packs, and then the hit pack. I haven't got a number card yet. I love it when I get a number card before I get the hit pack, you know? Just need some cool colors, some green, some blue. Leaderless, not one. We're the same. We're the same, man. We're the same. We're in the same band. We're supposed to. Busted with the rust. Dwight helped make it easy for the people of Alexandria to escape through the back gates, and during the ambush of the road. He joins in the fight by shooting other saviors. Laura is now positive she knows who the rat was in the sanctuary. And she flees to join Negan and the other saviors. Dwight knows she will reveal him as a traitor. And he can never go back. Yeah. I turned out a chicken sports box breaks. He got a mystery pack from me and I just sent it out today. I'm hoping it's a good one. Let's check out my mystery packs. They're usually really good. A couple of them are real good. Shiva's sacrifice. No sanctuary. Creating cover. Leaderless. Dwight Rust. Uncertain if Negan is dead or alive, the lieutenants meet to find a way to escape the Walker horde that is surrounding the compound. With no clear leader, they're the only end of fighting over what should be done. When Gavin insists they figure out who's betrayed them, Dwight quickly steers the discussion back to the plan to escape. Good job, Dwight. Fake it till you make it. It begins. Wounded in battle. Legion says Ezekiel and Jerry, not one with the rust. Having won the battle after another, 
As they check out the Savior's outpost, King Ezekiel continues to believe they will be able to survive this war without losing a single member of their group. But as they gather outside the chemical outpost, they have no idea that they are in fire in line for a massive weapon capable of killing all of the kingdom's soldiers. Dang. Ooh, last pack before the hit pack. So I guess I'm only getting one hit in this box. Hopefully it's at least a good one. Silenced. It's not focusing right. I don't like that. So strange. Something more. I will. Says Carl. Legend says Aaron and Eric. Thank you, Gift. Eugene and Dwight. After the meeting of the lieutenants, Eugene brings Dwight a jar of pickles to thank him for backing him up on his ideas of how to keep the workers calm and escape the horde. As the most recent addition to the group, Eugene is aware he is the obvious suspect for playing both sides, even though he is fully invested in the Saber's survival. Saber's survival. So that was it. Besides the one pack, so I didn't get any really good cards. So I'm hoping this hit pack is normal. That'd be sweet. That'd be so sick if this hit in this pack was a numbered hit. That would be cool. Oh, I didn't see that card. Many sides of war. Not numbered though. King Ezekiel's. Oh, I didn't see that walker. I must have left a pack part down here. That's a sick walker, too. Always sleeve my walkers. Tara Chambler. Rivalries. Maggie and Simon. We got Jadis and Dwight. Yep, it's only missed a couple. No numbered cards. Well, let's hit the hit pack. Oops, sorry. Hit the microphone. What could be in the hit pack? No way. It's another walker. And I was right. It's numbered at least. Authentic costume relic. It's got Negan's bat and it's season eight Walker. Not too shabby. And it's got the rust on it. So 41 and 99. Congratulations. You have received an authentic Walker relic card from AMC's The Walking Dead season eight WR5. 41 of 99. How neat is that? That's cool. At least it was numbered. I called it out too. I was like, man, I get one numbered card. So the relic was numbered even better. Sick. All right. I got one more box to open, guys. Can't really spin the wheel, I guess, because it's the last one left. But let's go over to it. That's not it. I've only got the baseball prism blaster box 2020 left. So that's got to be what I do. Well, it looks like I'm opening that. Prism blaster box. Got sick three walkers. Sick walker. All right. This is going to be it. Last box. We got the old prism. Holland Breaks, Holland Breaks Store 1.com.
Home Breaks on eBay. Or Ethan Holland 85 on eBay. E T H A N H O L L A N D 85 on eBay. I got more box breaks on that. Panini Prism. Let's see what's inside. It's the third box I was going to open. Oh, I can't breathe. Well, what do we got? I'd like to pick my special pack. There's the bonus pack, which is special. One, two, three, four, five, six packs. A bonus pack. Let's see if I can get any sick prisms out of these 2020s. Sick prism rookies. Waver Torres. Oh, wow. I got one of these cards actually in the pack. I haven't got one of those yet. Tyrone Taylor from Milwaukee Rookie Cards. Silver Wave. That's pretty sick. I haven't got a Silver Wave yet. Oh, it's numbered 30 of 60. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Rookie. 30 out of 60. Prism. Silver Wave. That's awesome. Right off the bat. Out of 60, Tyrone Taylor rookie card. Warming in the pen. I got Daniel Lynch for Kansas City. And then I got Fernando Tatis Jr. Illumination. Brandon Woodruff. I got Andres Munoz. Andres Munoz rookie card for San Diego. What do we got? We got a silver. Marcelo Zuna. Silver. Not bad. Marcelo Zuna Silver. Then I got a Joey Gallo. Texas. Texas. Next pack. Come on, I want to get some serious out of here. I want to get a gold. Somebody give me a gold, man. That chick is always pulling gold. I want to pull some gold. Jack. Focus. Focus. Check for St. Louis. John Means for Baltimore. Oh, we got another silver. Matt Olson for Oakland. Silva. It's so my first pack I opened. I got an out of 60 Tyrone Taylor rookie card. There's another silver. Matt Olson, silver. Next pack. After this, I'm going to cut out real quick because I got some stuff to do. But I figured some practicing before tomorrow's first break. Joe Palumbo rookie card. I'll sleeve the rookie. I'll sleeve the rookie. What do we got here? I got Nico Horner rookie card. I'll sleeve that in a second. Adley Rushman. Rushman. Adley Rushman for Baltimore, top of the class. That's your Brian Anderson. Now I got Max Kepler from Minnesota. Second to last pack. I got a James Paxton, guys. 
Marco Gonzalez for Seattle. Matt Boyd for Detroit. Green Prism. Then a Nelson Cruz for Minnesota. Last pack before the bonus pack. 2021 Prism Baseball Blasting. That's what we're doing. Straight blasting the blaster. I call it blasting. Austin Meadows for Tampa Bay. We got Josh Bell. Is that regular base? Yep. Trey Man Mankinney, Sydney, Baltimore. We got Lumber Inc. And then, wow, look at that. Fireworks, Juan Soto Silver. There we go. Fireworks, Juan Soto Silver. I'm digging that. F8. Time for the bonus pack. What could we have? Michael Brantley for Houston, Purple Prism. Raymond Loreno for Oakland, Purple Prism. We got Trey Mancini again, Baltimore, Purple Prism. We got Trevor Bauer, Cincinnati, Purple Prism. And what do we got here for the Silver Wave stuff? Brian Abreu, rookie card. We got a Juan Soto Prism. We got a Josh Hader for Milwaukee Prism. Last but not least, Matt Chapman for Oakland. It's not bad. These two cards right here. I got a Juan Soto Fireworks Silver. And then I got a Tyrone Taylor. Let me get that in there. Couldn't get them both at the same time. They're too shiny. Way too shiny. Tyrone Taylor from Milwaukee. Rookie card. And it's numbered. 30 of 60. Alright, guys. Wow, yeah. What's up? I'm just getting ready to end this right now. See you.